Club Shay Shay got the club jumping, and I mean Club Shay Shay is most definitely jumping. We all know that Cat Williams went viral yesterday for the interview he did on Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp. Um, Cat Williams had a few things to say about a lot of the comedians, which include um, Ricky Smiley, Cedric the Entertainer, Kevin Hart, and that is just to name a few. Of course, Ricky Smiley went live on his uh, radio station this morning, and Ricky Smiley had this to say. Him the story of some of the behind the scenes from Friday after next. Let's start. Let's start with that. Uh, when I when I went out there, uh, let's just go back. In 2000, I was the host of BET Comic View, and in the season 2004, uh, I also worked on this show called Live from LA. That was my first job with BET. And uh, that's where I met Ice Cube, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And Ice Cube was like, man, hey, man, I like your work. Uh, I want to do some stuff with you. I want to put you in some movies. And Ice Cube started putting me in movies, which really uh, helped my career. Uh, I was in All About the Benjamins. <laughs> but, of course, uh, when they changed the ending of it, didn't, that part didn't make any sense. But uh, then he put me in Friday After Next. <clears throat> and uh, j just for clarification, I went out to audition for Friday after next as Money Mike, not the Santa Claus. And that that is that is the honest God true. Uh I had no reason to go on there and uh uh to go on Shannon Sharp's show and lie about any of that. Uh, that that's what I auditioned for. Uh was Money Mike and I guess the producers, uh Cube and everybody saw something different. And uh I, I think that Money Mike character uh special K was gonna come off as Kind of like uh, just a uh, 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 wonder uh, a guy who was hanging around in the uh, strip mall who was just kind of being annoying yeah. and almost like a crackhead type of character that was right. Just, so Cat, know. I I guess when Cat Williams uh uh did it, they added the whole pimp twist uh to that character, which was actually a better decision and made it funnier. Cause ain't no way in the hell I could have. Uh, executed that role like that, and I'm glad that they made that decision and they put me in a Santa Claus role, uh, which was actually perfect. So when I got back to L.A., they said, hey, your role has changed. You're going to be the Santa Claus, and here's the Santa Claus suit. Put, put it on, and here's your lines. Sat in the trailer, went over the lines, went over my stuff with Cube, and the rest is history. Uh, had no reason. Uh, I just want to want to clarify that. Had no reason to lie uh, uh, about that. As a matter of fact, uh, my manager at the time, Gary Abdo, who is still one of my best friends, who also helped start my career, and he's the owner of uh, the Atlanta Comedy Theater in Atlanta. Uh, we got him on the phone. Just, just to clarify, uh, Gary Abdo, good morning. Good morning, How are you, my friend? Now, y'all remember when Shannon, Sh Shannon Sharp asked Cat Williams if he was keen to ludicrous, and this is what Cat Williams had to say about him being keen to ludicrous. And I'm going to also post a picture as well of the wives. And again, everything that Cat Williams said seems to be true. But anyway, this is what Cat Williams had to say about being keen to ludicrous. Just had to be made. So it was both of us, we were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. And the next person they said was going to get $200 million because they were going to pay him $10 million a movie to do 20 movies. And that's how the conversation happened. One of those persons turned out to be ludicrous, and the other person turned out to be Cat Williams. <laughs> now, one person ended up with a light-skinned, ugly-faced wife that's never done a... Remember I told you that if I say that, it applied to seven people? Yes. It's part of what they give you. Okay? I didn't get it. Luda. Now, y'all heard when Cat Williams said that it would be seven of them and they all have wives that basically look alike. And this is the photo of the wives. And again, Cat Williams is telling the truth. Now, Kevin Hart also responded back to Cat Williams. And this is what Kevin Hart had to say. And of course, he posted this caption on Twitter, but Kevin Hart deleted the caption and of course you gotta be quicker than that because twitter caught it but anyways comment your thought below on the whole situation with cat williams 
Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp, um, as well as the entertainers that Cat Williams was talking about.